I'm Chris Anderson at the EE Web Tech Lab, and today I have Crusade Control's Kronos 2 timers, which are available from OnlineComponents.com. The Kronos 2 family is able to address a wide range of industries and applications due to the various functions and configurations available. The demo unit I have is made up of three 17.5mm DIN rail modules, but there are also 22.5mm DIN rail industrial modules as well as 35mm removable industrial modules with an 8 or 11 pin base. The timing function can be set from 1 tenth of a second to 100 hours, and the timers are available in mono or multi-function models. There are too many functions to cover all of them effectively in a single video, but I do want to highlight a few that are available in this demo unit. First, the MLR1 is a single function timer, with that function being an asymmetrical recycler. In other words, the output alternates high and low with the high and low time set separately on the timer, meaning you can set any duty cycle you need. The white dial sets the timing range, and the blue dial sets the time within that range. Now there are dials for each on and off, and so you can set them independently. If I turn it on right now, I have it configured for a one second period with a 75% duty cycle. Now I can also go ahead and change this range on the T off, and if I set that to the 10 to 100 hour range, that'll set it to turn on for about three quarters of a second and then turn off for the next 24 hours. And you can see that if I reset, you see the turn on and now it'll be off for about a day. The next unit is the MUR1, which is a multi-function timer and is very popular because of its flexibility. And the first function I have on that is the A function, which is a delayed turn on. I've got it set up for three seconds, so when I flip the switch, it'll turn the unit on, it'll take three seconds, then it'll turn on and it'll stay on. Uh, the next function after that is the H function, which is the opposite of that. It will turn on for three seconds and then turn off and stay off. So H could be used as maybe a startup timer, whereas A could be used to delay the startup of a device until that startup sequence has been completed. Now B and C are similar in that they are both single pulse outputs. So when I push the button, on B, it'll start the timer immediately and it'll go for three seconds and then turn off. Doesn't matter if I hold the button or not, the timer will run for three seconds and then turn off the output. And if I switch that to C, uh, it starts the timer on the release. So now if I release it, it'll go for three seconds and then it'll turn off. And then function D, just alternates with a 50% duty cycle. So I'll turn the timing down on that one. And it'll just sit here and toggle high and low with a 50% duty cycle. Now the next unit is the MXR1, which is another multi-function timer, but it has some different functions from the MUR1. And the first function is function W. It's very similar to B and C in that it has a single shot output, but the difference is it won't turn on and it won't start the timer until I release the button. So if I, I can sit here and hold the button, nothing will happen when I release, it'll turn on for a few seconds and then turn off. If I go over here to function N, it's what's considered a safeguard timer. So it'll turn on when I push the button and it'll run for three seconds and then turn off. But if I turn it on and then I push the button again before that time expires, it'll stay on and that effectively resets that timer. So until it has elapsed three seconds without the button being pressed, it'll stay on. Now the last function, TT, it's another single shot timer, but it also has a, like a manual override. So when I push the button, it'll turn on, and if I push the button again before time expires, it'll turn off anyway. So if I go to that, and I push the button, you'll see it'll run for about three seconds and then I turn off. But if I decide I want to turn it off immediately, I can just push the button again. OnlineComponents.com and Crusade Control offer these and many other control and automation products for applications in a variety of industries. I've only been able to show a few of the functions of the Kronos 2 timers here, but it's a very versatile family of timers that can address virtually any need. Whether it's industrial automation systems or machinery, food processing, lighting and HVAC control, or building automation, your timing needs can be addressed by one of Crusade Control's Kronos 2 timers. For more information on the Kronos 2 timers and other products from Crusade Control, check out onlinecomponents.com.